Welcome back to the Flooding Island. I'm Charles and today... We buy some fresh salmon fillets. Since Charles could not manage to catch me, you're welcome. Alright, alright. We are at High Country Salmon, a salmon farm at Twizel, a small town on the South Island of New Zealand. Pretty good spot. We will feed some salmon. Yeah, that's right. Taste some salmon. Slow down, Charles. And buy some salmon to have a cooker. Oh crap, I'm out of here. This place got it all. A huge variety of smoked salmon, fresh fillets, spices and some pretty cool accessories as well. They even give you heaps of free ice with your fish for your long journey ahead. So we got some fillets, locally made wasabi and other ingredients that we needed and we are off to Wanaka for our cooker. Welcome back, we made it to Wanaka, we got our salmon from High Country Salmon with us and we're gonna do a super easy dish, it's gonna be a salmon rice muffin. Sounds easy, it is easy, so we're waiting for, let's go. First we're quickly gonna take off the skin, luckily these are already boneless. And then we're just gonna do nice little tiny cubes, not too big so they're still gonna fit in our muffin form. It is so crucial that you get high quality salmon, so make sure wherever you get it from, it is good fresh salmon. Right, let's do an avocado, and don't cut your fingers. Alrighty, got the salmon. And now we're just gonna mix a bit of ingredients with it. So we got our sesame seeds, we got a bit of honey and soy sauce, a bit of salt, and we're gonna mix it well. Because hopefully this is gonna crisp up and it's gonna give it a nice brown color to it and then onto the sushi rice and remember to rinse it until the water becomes clear here you see the water is already clear so for me that's good enough I know my recipe is a bit different I mean, the traditional one is completely different, but yeah, I like this one. It's fairly easy. You add your water to it, so it's a bit, a couple centimeters over it, over the rice. And then you add a couple of tablespoons of soy sauce, a couple of tablespoons mirin, and a couple of tablespoons sushi rice vinegar. And then you just let the whole thing simmer on low heat for 20 minutes, and that's it. So here we go, Ranuri, and we're simply gonna cut squares for the muffin shapes. And now, fairly easy, you just take one, you add a bit of sushi rice to it. And then we got our muffin form and you simply just add a few cubes of your salmon to it and you simply press it in and that's it and you're gonna do a few you can fill them up with as much as you want and once that's done we're gonna put it in the oven 200 degrees 15 minutes until it starts getting brown and then we're gonna finish them off Tasty. 
And that's it, straight in the oven. And we're gonna see you in a few seconds. Finishing touch. All right, cooking is done. I'm gonna try the beer first. <laughs> it's a bit of a romantic one. <laughs> the guy. And again, a deep creek, a crazy hazy two, 6.7%. Cheers. Come on. And here we go. Let's give it a go. <laughs> this is so good, man. So easy. What are you waiting for? Try the recipe. So besides having fun cooking, there's heaps of local stuff you can do. Like for example, that awesome lavender farm in Wanaka. Hopefully you liked this video. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. TFI out.